Hey folks, welcome to the Alan Parks Project. I'm Alan Parks. Well, it came today. That's right, uh, today is an unboxing video for my new Wessex Helicon. I've got the right shirt on and everything. So uh, we're gonna see how this goes. Um, so I have, all right, it's this huge box, right? Pretty good size. It's got straps on it. Pretty big. I've got myself some uh, some tools to help get into it. Um, I don't know what's actually involved in there, so I've got you know I'm covering my bases with some some tools. I don't know if I'm gonna need that. Um, so uh, okay, so this took. Let's see. I ordered it on a Saturday a week ago. And it took them a few days to actually pack it up and send it. And it came from England. I'm in California. It came from uh, it came from Wessex in England. So uh, it took a while, and they had they kept sending me alerts. And this morning I was getting an alert. It's going to be here today. So um, I'm pretty excited about this. Really looking forward to it. So let's uh, start cracking things open. So it's got the big uh, shipping ties on it, which are crazy. Um, but it looks like the box arrived in pretty good shape. There's a hump on it here, which is probably the bell. So I hope it didn't get crunched. Um, this would be really disappointing to do a video and have it be crunched. That would be a drag. Uh, yeah, man. So here we go. Let's see. So it's got really heavy duty packing tape all over. It says fragile music instrument. Please do not drop. And, uh, Hmm. It has tape here from DHL that says repacked. Yeah, it looks like the corner got popped open or something. So, well, we'll see what happened there. Hopefully it hasn't a problem. Is it a problem? All right. All right, let's see. There's cardboard underneath, so I'm not cutting into anything. That's good. There we go. Okay. Now, I also ordered a gig bag for it. Uh, apparently, the Wessex Helicon has a perpetual belt. will fit into a sousaphone gig bag. So, let's see. So, they put a piece of cardboard on top. Chinese writing. And here's the sousaphone. Here's the gig bag. So, uh, that's cool. Let's have a look at this gig bag first. O-U-T's. Okay, let's have a look. Got the Wessex emblem on the front. Got a nice pocket, it's nice Cordura material. Pretty cool, I can dig that. And nothing in the pocket. I don't know, didn't expect anything in the pocket, but there's nothing there. And then the back side, we've got a handle here, got a handle here, that's nice. And then backpack straps, which, will be pretty groovy. And a double zipper. Oh, I see why these are on. The zipper goes underneath the handles. And that's actually good in case the zipper for some reason fails, the handles will hold it all together. Uh, wow, that unzips all the way around there. And... Da -da -da -da. Okay, and there's a pad for it, for the bell. Belongs like that. Okay, gig bag. Cool. So there's a horn in here. So let's see. Oh, jeez. <laughs> All right, so in the corners, you get bonus foam. And there's a big bonus foam. And ah, there's the instrument. It's in a hard tail case, which is nice. Uh, it's probably easiest just to untie this bag. <sighs> Jeez. Okay. Now, I've got a gargantuan cardboard box. 
uh, that maybe my gargantuan cat can play in. Uh, okay, all right. I'm back. Okay. Porn. Let's lay this bad boy down. Let me adjust the camera a little bit so you can get a look at that too. There we go. All right, so. Nice hard shell case. Oh, it's got the turnbuckle type uh, type uh, latches on them. Let me get down here and get a better shot. See, like these, those are nice. You'd actually find those on like high-end road cases. So pretty cool. That's a nice feature. All right, let's see. It's not not but there it goes. So better than just a snap over latch, it actually. Hold one, two, three, four. Oh, the case has wheels on it. That's pretty nifty because, good God, look at this thing, it's huge. All right, ready for the moment? I am. Okay, there it is. Shiny. <laughs> What have we got here? Oh no, they actually included a shoulder rest. That's great, a shoulder pad rather. Okay, mouthpiece bits, mouthpiece. Cool, cool. All right, so uh, let's see, let's take this part out. This is the body. Pretty darn spiffy, let me set it down here. And then let's uncover the bell. Uh, Shiny, not dented. We like it like that. It's got the Wessex emblem and dragon engraved in here. I don't know, it's kind of hard to see on the video. Anyway, it's there, trust me, it's there. Okay, so there's the bell, and there's the body. Let me set those down, party. Sorry, you had to look at the back of me. Um, let's see, mouthpiece bits. Okay, there's the next crook. Pretty straightforward. It has a liar holder. I was wondering if it would or not. I'm kind of glad it does because, you know, it's the kind of thing you walk around. We have a little pouch to hold all that stuff. Actually, that looks like a pouch for them. Why do I have this pouch? Because there's little separate spots for the mouthpiece bits and a separate part for the neck and a separate spot for the mouthpiece. So, I don't know. So yeah, mouthpiece bits fit in the little holes right here. I'll get a shot of that in just a second. Okay, yes, very nice. Includes a mouthpiece. That's pretty spiffy. I have no idea what size it is or if it's even a size I'm gonna like. Um, let's see, it's a Wessex. H1 it means nothing to me. Mm -mm. It feels a lot like the uh, a Miraphone mouthpiece that I used to use. Feels a lot like that. Well, we'll see how it works with the horn. So let's get a better look here. So, as you can see, we have cubbies for all of the uh, mouthpiece bits and stuff. That's pretty spiffy. Little blocks of foam, nice firm foam. Those are a little loose, but that's okay. And then came with an accessory bag with a belt strap. Don't know why, but it did. So, okay. So let's ditch the cable, let's assemble this stuff here. Let me put the long mouthpiece bit in first, and then the shorter mouthpiece bit in. Um, I'm gonna wait on the mouthpiece. Let's get rid of this out of the way. This is probably gonna go in my 
garage or my shop or my attic or something and only get used when I really need to travel somewhere. For everyday thing, that's why I got the gig bag. So, okay, so let's get the body up here. Have a look at it. Boy, I didn't use any of my implements of destruction either. I think I could probably frame in a little bit better of a shot. So hang on a minute, let me adjust. Okay, let's try that. So what have we got here? We have a tag, very substantial thumb ring on that. Quality assured. Checked and tested at the factory. Three year warranty, manufacturing defects, batch number, serial number model, somebody's signature. Um, yeah, so it looks like it came with a shoulder pad, which is a nice bonus I didn't expect at all. So why not? What the heck? I'll take a shoulder pad. Some Velcro's on. It's very soft. It's like a sock. I have a feeling it's going to get dirty pretty quick and or get covered in dog hair at my house. Ah, okay, I see. I missed the Velcro there. Uh, yeah, mm, not sure about this neck strap or shoulder rest. Yeah, pretty slim. So, valves are okay. I think I'm going to have to put a little oil in them. Spit valves have nice little black uh, covers on the, on the finger parts of them. Um, let's see. Slides are already greased. Yep, they're already pretty greasy. Yeah, so let's see. Let's get this bell on here, shall we? So I'm gonna have to come up with a routine to do this. This is gonna be kind of weird and difficult. Sorry if this looks a little weird. Oh, well, this is nice. Nice little features, okay? If you take a look at the valve caps, I don't know how good of a shot I can get of them. They're engraved with the uh, Wessex Dragon on them. Pretty nifty. But then if you look at the screws that hold the, uh, the bell on, they've got the dragon on it too. So that's pretty nice. Nice little detail. Um, hmm. Okay. Uh, let's see. Bell. Uh, make sure it seats nice and clean. Looks like it fits in really nicely. Okay, time to back the camera up a little more. Again. Ready? All right, it's not real big. I did a gig recently on a sousaphone, a Yamaha, and the body wrap was larger on that one. There was more room in here. This is, it feels a little tight. It feels a little odd, feels a little tight, but you know, it's something I'll get used to. And the valves are you know, like right up here against my chin. Hmm. That's okay. That's all right. So let's see. Get the neck in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go, neck in there. Now a piece, I probably should have warmed up on my other horn first, but I didn't. Here we go. I have an audience. It's Mrs. Project is over there. It works! Yay! Aren't we glad? Woo! Closer to look at it. All right, so it's as goofy a looking instrument as you'll find, right? Boom, baby. So 
I feel like the mouthpiece is a little big. They're not really quite my, my size of mouthpiece, but. There you have it, the unboxing of Wessex Double B Flat Helicon. Uh, stay tuned sometime in the near future. I will do a review on how it plays once I take it out to a gig or two and uh, oil it up and clean it out and make sure everything's just the way I want it. So uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye now.